Georgian Bay, and the ultimate proving grounds. How bad do you want it? When we say enough is enough, what are you willing to endure to succeed? For us, the answer is simple. Whatever it takes. Strap in and enjoy the ride on our hunt for the Giants of Georgian Bay. The fish of 10,000 casts, cabbage dragons, water wolves, esocks. No matter what you call them, everyone knows the most difficult freshwater fish to target is muskie. In this episode, it's opening weekend on Georgian Bay for the 2022 season, and we are ready to push ourselves to the limit for a shot at one of these Yikes. fish. With a very early major in the forecast, we decided to hit the water as early as possible in hopes to capitalize on the last hour of the window. Hitting the water at 5.30 in glass calm conditions at the ramp, we are expecting to get to our first spot within 20 minutes. What we weren't expecting rough water as soon as we left the inlet. It started out as a flat calm ride, quickly turned into dealing with three and four foot rollers. Soon after, the six and seven footers rolled in. The waves themselves would not have worried us if the channel we had taken uh, wasn't lined with shallow water shoals that could easily damage the boat if we got off course. Wet, cold, and a little stressed, after nearly an hour of battling the waves, we finally made it to the inlet where we planned to fish. After a change of clothes and some warming up, it was time to go on the fish. You alright? I'm alright. <laughs> We're not doing that again. Ever. Oh, I just lost it. I'm sorry, a what? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Musky opener. That's a fucking dandy of a bass. That's a nice one. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking right. Bass this is the musky opener. We had a great musky opener. We got 15 bass. After searching the area for three hours, we finally came across our first musky. What we immediately noticed about this spot is that it was the warmest water we had found so far, and it came off a shallow gravel flat, quickly dropping into over 10 feet of water. Although the fish did follow in the eight, it seemed to lose interest in our offerings and disappear. Mark it. Mark the spot. I guess that like 34 maybe. Yeah, it was like, it was decently long. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. I just had a bite. Oh. I just had a hit. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hit. With one clue to figure
figuring out these fish, we started to move shallow in, in search of warmer water, but found the shallows to be significantly colder than the deeper waters we were before. Moving back out towards deeper water, uh, we locate a deep cabbage bed near 15 feet of water. We come into contact with our second muscle. Again, minimal interest. As we moved out towards deeper water areas, we noticed that the water temperature wasn't much different than when we were further in the inlet. This knowledge, we figure that the fish have already began moving out of spawn areas to summer location, and the muskies we did see were stragglers. I got, I got one on. It's a fucking nice
With the approach of the final major in the day, we decided to start running all the spots where musky activity was seen throughout the day. After running through these spots with no activity, moving back out towards the main lake was the only move left. Turned when I did the when I turned, so thought about it. Thought about it. Six and seven feet out here, and there's still cabbage. Cabbage. Dog shit. By this time, competing with the wind had completely drained the trolling motor battery. Given our desire to fish all of Sunday, as well as the plan to spend the night in this area, was scrapped to return home and charge the batteries before hitting the water in a new location in the morning. After what seemed like a quick nap, we hit the water again, this time in a completely different area. Reports from other musky anglers alluded to some solid activity, so our hopes remain high. After a few casts at the very first spot, the day is already off to a decent start. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Unfortunately, not a muskie, but one of the biggest pike we have boated this season. Pike are a cool water species, whereas muskie prefer the warmer waters. Based on the location of, this, of the pike catch, we have a clue that the muskie should be sticking around the warmer, shallower areas. Fucking jail.
See if it's actually that cold here, or is it warmer down and it's just the surface that's hot? Because that would really change my opinion on things. So I dropped her down, whatever, this far. Five feet. Say like oh, only twelve feet. Yeah. yeah. Say I dropped her down ten feet. It's sixty degrees still. Whatever's at the bottom is more of like where they're gonna say is it so 60 here but out there it said 62 at the surface but is it actually 60 I degrees doubt it. like down five feet i doubt it yeah. i have a hard time believing yeah so science <laughs> rules That's a fish. Oh, it's a giant bass, I think. Yeah. Oh, maybe not a giant, but. Oh. What the hell? Yeah, that's for sure. What the hell? That's small. That's for sure. Holy, that's a long one. Oh. <laughs> Almost to the from cork to cork. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Measure that later. <laughs> Trying everything at our disposal, we resort to trolling to cover some additional water. At the end of the day, it looks like the muskie have earned their reputation with the fish of 10,000 casts yet again. And we were just a few casts short. It's time to prepare for our next trip, a four day muskie mission. In a location we know firsthand holds fish uh, over the 50 inch class. 